For those students, dodgeball games, locally known as Boruburu, ruled their hallways and fields, at the same time uniting them within their school learning environments. And as they marked the International Day of the Girl, while showcasing their best game, the Education Minister Deng Deng Hock announced that the budget allocation to the education sector had been increased by more than 150%. Deng Deng says this increase to the national education budget will be used to improve standards for schools nationally and also cater for out-of-school children, especially girls. We have increased our share of funding to education by 150, more than 150 percent. Yes, we are doing so because we are acutely aware that education needs more investment. And with more investment, we can tackle the problems in education, including the problem of access for the 1.8 million children who are out of school. Highlighting the plight of the girl child, the minister said that their numbers had risen, though gender purity in schools had not been reached. The number of girls has risen from around just a quarter of a million in 2012 to about half a million in 2015. This is a massive jump, but we should not be complacent. If the parents can cooperate with us, we will triple the figures to 1.5 million within five years. In so doing, we bring the gender parity to one to one. This is vitally important. If we are to achieve gender equality and empower women uh, and girls in this country and elsewhere in the world. Speaking at the same event, a UNICEF official highlighted concerns affecting the girl child's enrollment. In South Sudan, more than 51% of school age children are estimated to be out of school. And only 35% of girls are enrolled at primary level. Data indicates that the burden of household work on girls coupled with early marriage has culminated into unequal participation of girls in education and has perpetuated a gender disparity. This means we have to exert efforts to get girls ready for school by enrolling them into ECD, retaining them through primary and secondary school level so that they can qualify for entry into higher educational institutions. With partners in the education sector being aware of many of the issues affecting learning for girls, more investment, including access for the 1.8 million who are out of school, a significant number of them being girls, will be put into ensuring a gender purity in schools countrywide. At the event, which was marked on October 11th at Juba Girls Secondary School, the minister separately pleaded that schools need to be safe and peaceful areas. Make a school a zone of peace. When each school becomes a zone of peace, we will have a conducive learning environment in which every child feels safe and teaching and learning can take place without disruptions, without disruptions, without any other problems that will make it hard or difficult for anybody to learn. Conflict in South Sudan has resulted in many schools closing with some students abandoning their studies. A school cannot function in the middle of a war zone when people are fighting. Therefore, we need to promote a culture of peace in this country. Every one of us, whether you are a youth, 
a child, a woman, a man, all of us, the citizens of this country and our friends who are living in this country. It is our collective responsibility. We must all work together to ensure peace continue to prevail. Because in the context of peace, then we can embark on development, and development is what is going to bring prosperity for everybody. With this national pleas for peace, and with the commitment for more enrollment of girls, the international slogan marking this year's International Day of the Girl, which is Girls' Progress equals Goals progress may indeed make a difference because all girls count, just like the dodgeball games locally known as Boruboru game.